Imagine it's the year 2068, the state of Israel celebrating 120 years since its founding and a decade since the establishment of the kingdom of Judah. Reclusive, monarchical theocracy full of zealots adhering to strict religious observance, gender segregation. Now, it's the intro summary to a new fictional work by Israeli author Idan Seger, published just this month of November. And we're lucky to be joined by Idan now in the studio author and advocate Idan Seger. Thanks for being with us. Um, Thank you, David. Your book's getting here. attention uh, you know, around the country. And I want to say that the title of the Higyanu uh, you know, from the, the prayer of, you know, Sheikh Yano, of, of you know, the first time upon doing something for the first time, the prayer. So um, let me explain that a little bit. I mean, if, if we're talking about, uh, I guess, tell us about the story, you know, the inspiration for it and, and the title. All right, so my, let's say, my inspiration for, for this book uh, is not something uh, very specific, like I can't point out a political uh, figure or, uh, you know, a political one event, moment. one okay. moment in sure, history sure. that make me uh, write this, but I can specifically say that there were a lot of processes hmm. uh, in, in the political field and in the technological field, field that made me uh, write this book. Uh, if you look at Israel in the past decades, you can definitely see this uh, grassroots movement uh, of people uh, that now are rising to power, actually. It's kind of uh, alarming uh, that the book came out this month, yeah, specifically. Yeah, very, um, the timing is... Yeah, the uh, timing is particularly... Significant, yes. Yeah, significant. Uh, so y you can see this grassroots uh, movement, political movement, that is gaining power and now these days they have a complete different vision about the way Israel should look like about the uh, the, the place for liberal uh, values in it about the place of women and, and gay men and uh, and lesbians and others in this uh, particular Israel that they envision so I figured well it might be interesting to extract those uh, uh, visions to the future it's not a, a prophecy the book is not a sure. I, I hope so it's, uh, it's a it's fascinating topic you know, this country is so unique in, in so many ways to think of what could it be in 40 to 50 years. I mean, that's an important question, I think, for it's, all of us to be asking. It's a very important question, and I, I think it's also kind of a wake-up call. This yeah. book is also can be read those days. And is actually, it a warning? I mean, is it meant to be somewhat of a warning to us? Well, I... Yeah, I, th I think it is, uh, and also I, I get it a lot from people that read the book uh, this uh, coming uh, and, and those weeks since it came out this November, and they all tell me, well, it's it's fascinating to, to read it, and it's also disturbing because I, I see the reality coming real, uh, the, the reality in the book, I mean, the fiction yes. coming to reality. Right. Uh, you know, though it's fictional, I mean, it's somehow definitely is jarring. Um, you, you know, what what were we hoping? I guess you know at the timing. Did it just happen to be? I mean, was there something more instrumental behind the timing of the release as a right-wing government's coming in? Or what were we hoping to accomplish, you know, through this work, essentially? Well, uh, as I said earlier, it's not like a, a very immediate reaction to some kind of a coalition that is forming these days. And because, you know, uh, writing a book, it's a long process. Yes. It takes you some years yeah. and publishing it uh, in Kineret's Moradvir. <laughs> so it, it, it took some time. Uh, but generally, I, I thought about the processes that we're dealing here here in Israel and about uh, the way that, uh, that, that this majority of people, or I, I want to believe it's a majority of people that believe in a more, Democrat, more democratic Israel, a more... Uh, um, uh, liberal Israel that believes in equality and complete equality uh, to, to, to rise up and stand up because people on the other uh, st stand uh, on the other aisle are doing it. So you we know, should do it too. For the benefit of our, our many of our viewers around the world, I understand it's just in Hebrew right now, available, but you're working on translation? Yeah, we, we, we are definitely working on translations and also uh, there are some initials, uh, connections about uh, making it into a TV show uh, and sadly these days people watch uh, streaming uh, <laughs> services more than uh, reading books like you enjoy it, sure. uh, in a way. <laughs> but, well, I can uh, see the topic <laughs> resonating. I mean, this is the, in, in, in many ways here, especially as a as a series or a film or whatever it may turn into. Good luck with that. Thank you. Were you surprised by the reaction so far? I mean, I know it's it's, it's getting a lot of reaction. Yeah, oh, right. it's 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 getting reaction. It's getting actually a lot of good reactions so far. It, it just went out this November, yeah, right, so right. Uh, people are still re reading and and and, and uh, Hot on the processing shelves. it. Yes, yes. Yeah, uh, but uh, I'm, I'm getting a lot of good reviews uh, from from the Israeli media and also from people that read it and, and write to me and say that uh, it uh, totally uh, makes them uh, want to do something about the future here or, or make them at least think. 
about our future here uh, in, in many different ways. There's another part of the book, actually, we oh. didn't talk about, yeah, the technological yeah. part, All right. we have time. Yes. Uh, so at, at this part, uh, people uh, in the US, actually, are getting into uh, VR machines uh, for the entire life. I see that happening in my own household, yeah. Yeah, so, so, so exactly <laughs> on, 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 on this uh, angle, uh, I thought, that, well, it might be interesting to extract this idea as well and see the future, depict the future in the US as a future and, and elsewhere in the world, as a future that, that in which people are entering into those VR machines and living their entire life uh, on those machines uh, and fulfilling their dreams. Like in, in, in the uh, reality, in the book, people are getting inside the machines and can become hundreds and thousands of people can become simultaneously the presidents of the US or Oscar winners. It's a mind-boggling concept already yeah. upon us from <laughs> films such as Surrogate or who knows what. This is what's coming down the road for us. Thank you. Edan Seged, uh, and, and thanks for joining us and good luck with the book here and thanks fascinating. I recommend our viewers to check it out as certainly as it comes in English. So thanks Thank for you, David. Us.